Chuck Rosenberg, let me go to you with something that Andrea referenced and this extraordinary revelation that the architect of, in many ways, this scheme to attempt to overturn the legitimate 2020 election results, John Eastman, in the days after January 6th, wrote to Rudy Giuliani and said, I've decided that I should be on the pardon list if that is still in the works. We know this is somebody who pled the fifth, according to the committee, something like 100 times. Chuck, what is the legal exposure for John Eastman now, in your view? Any legal liability on his part here? Potentially, yes, absolutely, Hallie. I mean, he knew that the theory he was propounding, that a vice president had the authority to reject the electors or send it back to the states, Eastman knew, and we learned that today, um, that that was false, phony, fraudulent. Uh, Eastman conceded that he would have lost in the Supreme Court 9 nothing. Eastman allowed uh, that uh, he didn't believe that authority would have extended to Al Gore in 2000 or to Kamala Harris in the next election in 2024. So Eastman knew it was fraudulent, and yet he, um, he uh, urged it on the president of the United States. And it resulted, as we know all too well, in this insurrection at the Capitol. Can I just add one point? Uh, because I think it's important. It, we see now that even if there are people we disagree with and, uh, you know, on politics or policy, that they're principled, right? We have a tendency to demonize folks we disagree with. But Mr. Short, Mr. Hirschman, Judge Ludig, Mr. Jacob, uh, Vice President Pence, whatever our policy and political differences with them may be. They are principled people who acted in a principled way when we needed it most.